You don't buy a DeLorean unless you want attention. Like you don't want to be out in a DeLorean if you're having a bad day because everybody's honking at you and giving you thumbs up. It's almost like a happiness mobile. Even with like 20 other DeLoreans parked around, like what is the story with this one? The first time I saw a DeLorean was in a science museum, I want to say in 1983. And they had a brand new DeLorean, the car of the future, parked in the lobby of the science museum. It became my dream car and I always, always wanted to own one, but it always seemed like wanting to own you know, Magnum P.I.'s Ferrari or the van from the A-Team, like something impossible that would never happen. I wrote this novel, Ready Player One. The protagonist is kind of obsessed with 80s pop culture and uh, he loves Doc Brown's time machine, but he decides to take Doc Brown's time machine and then mash in three more of his favorite 80s super vehicles. The Ghostbusters, Ectomobile, Ecto-1, Kit from Knight Rider, and then Buckaroo Banzai's jet car. So it has both a flux capacitor for traveling through time and an oscillation overthruster for traveling through solid matter. I never imagined that I would finish the book or that I would be able to sell it or that it would become a movie, but all those things happened. And once I sold the movie rights, then I realized I could, I could actually buy a DeLorean finally and then recreate the DeLorean from the book. It makes me a lot more interesting at my book signings when I pull up in a time machine and uh, it's like a traveling 80s museum. This is my uh, iPad that I use to control my time circuits. This operates the flex capacitor, but mostly it's just fun like at the stoplight. I just pretend that I'm dropping oil like Spy Hunter. And then I also have Kit. A little consideration would be a beginning. And my light bar. When I need to clear traffic, because I need to get to you know the site of a job and bust a class five full roaming vapor, I can't be sitting in traffic. I love people who love the things they love so passionately that it's just not enough for them to uh, talk about it, it has to manifest itself in their lives some way. They have to build their own time machine or they have to cosplay, you know, their favorite character. I'm that kind of person and so the car is a way for me to, to do that.